Hi traders, this is about to be a very very important lesson which I would like to share with you and please hold on to the end of this video because I do have a very interesting gift for you, a surprise at the end of this video. So let's start. At that point of the day I was up a little bit more than $2,000 and I still have open 100 shares in ACHC, DE is up like $300, it's gonna change real soon, take a look at that and FL after a partial free grant. So I'm up for the day. I do have uh, NKE, Nike a little bit down and one loser in ROST, a close trade. Now take a look at D, what's about to happen. And this story is all about how to use stops or in fact how not to use hard stops. Now if you do have a stop and the, and the stop in DE should be somewhere over 115 so somewhere over here I should be stopped out but DE moved up very 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 fast. Now when it moves up as fast as you're just about to see it you never ever move out of a trade that is moving against you so fast. Usually it's just a fat finger. It's just a shakeout. It's something that is meant to be for you to be shaken out of a good trade. Look at that. I'm down right now like five grand, a little bit more than five grand. Now, when something like that happens, you never ever have a hard stop. And I'm proud to say that I was talking about this in my live trading room and you're very welcome to join us for a free 14 day trial. Just click on the link above. And I was really telling my traders just please not to bail out of this trade, just to hang on and wait for the pullback. You don't really see the pullback right now, but it's just about to be over there. Now, when something like this happen, you always have to wait for a pullback. And I don't care how much money you're losing at that point, because 95% of the time it's going to come down. So the rest 5% is going to be a very unpleasant loser. That's okay. But if you do know that 95% of the time it will come down, so please, just wait and please don't have hard stops. Have what we call mental stops in the system and wait for it to come down because that's going to happen in 95% of the time. So right now, as you can see, I do have a very clear, a very clear technical stop of 116 and that's where I should stop this trade. Now I'm still down $2,300. That's okay. It's going to change soon once more. Again, you do not want one fast upside move in that case because I was short DE. You don't want a quick upside move to shake you out of a trade like that just because somebody just went on the market and bought 100,000 shares or whatever. So it moved out with high volume but again it's down today almost 10 percent it should continue moving down and in 95 percent of the time it will so just wait for the pullback now what happens if it doesn't come down fine then you have a hard stop and you you have a stop not hard stop over 116 and you can move out okay it's not going to be exactly where you plan so you plan moving over 115 you have to take a bigger loss however again in most of the time, 95% of the time, it will come down and a huge loser, this could have been a huge loser for me, okay? A huge loser will turn out to be a great winner. So I'm gonna speed the video a little bit so you can see what happens. So as you can see, DE did come down. So at that point, I'm actually in a small profit and it looks great because it's at my original entry and right now moving to a profit. So here it comes. I'm up like 70 cents or 80 cents taking my partial right over here and a losing trade turned out to be a very, very nice winner. So if you're just starting, I don't mind if you have hard stop in the system, but when you have some experience over a few months into trading, just never ever use hard stop. Wait for the reversal and look what happened. DE is up $1,700. I only have one loser today. D is great. FL was great. And even Nike is turning out to be a winner right now. So at that point right now, I am up. I'm having a great day. And that just happened because I was not shaken out of a great trade just because somebody bought large quantity and wanted to shake me out. So at this point of the day, just 19 minutes into the trading day, I'm up $4,000. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I do have a surprise for you as I promised at the beginning of this video. Here we go. Hi for all of you who are new to my channel, welcome. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
If you did subscribe, you can get my trading book, The Market Whisperer, an Amazon bestseller for free just by clicking here. So first subscribe and then get free online access to my trading book right now.